In this video, we will discuss importing data for and creating a topographic surface. The Topographies folder in LeapFrog is where a surface representing the topography can be created. The topography surface in LeapFrog is unique relative to other surfaces in two ways. First, if present in a project prior to creating a geological model, the topography surface will automatically act as the upper boundary for your model, removing the air volume. Secondly, all GIS data in the project has a copy automatically draped onto the topography surface, providing it with reliable elevation data. The topography surface also has a unique drop-down in the shapes list for displaying draped GIS information, such as lines and images, over the topography surface in the scene. It is currently only possible to have one designated topography surface in a project at a time. Some file types, such as Digital Elevation Maps, or DEMs, can be imported directly into the Topographies folder, while other input data, such as points, GIS data, and surfaces, need to be imported into their respective folder before creating a surface from it in the Topographies folder. In this video, I will demonstrate importing an Elevation Grid, or DEM, directly into the Topographies folder by right-clicking the folder and selecting Import Elevation Grid. When an elevation grid is imported, you are given the chance to set the resolution as well as decide what to do in areas with no data. The resolution in LeapFrog defines the physical size of the triangles making up the surface. In this example, the resolution is 50, meaning the triangles that comprise the surface are 50 units across which units depends on what you have your imported data in. As mentioned in the Importing Boreholes video, LeapFrog is a unitless program and therefore takes on whatever units are introduced. If the data imported is in meters, then the numbers throughout LeapFrog will be in meters. If the data is in feet, then the numbers are in feet. I'll leave the default value as well as the other defaults and click Import. When I view the topography in the scene, I can visualize the resolution of the surface by clicking its Show Edges icon in the shape list. This appears to be a reasonable resolution for the topography. Resolution is a very important parameter throughout LeapFrog and will be discussed in several subsequent videos when relevant. If you would like more information about resolution and how it affects your LeapFrog models, please see the LeapFrog Works help or contact your local office to learn more. Once a topographic surface has been created in the Topographies folder, you have a couple of options regarding your collar coordinates. If you trust your collar elevation information, it can be added to your topographic surface. You are also able to add other topographic information to the topography surface if necessary. Alternatively, if you trust your topography data more than your collar coordinates, there is also an option to project your collars onto your topography. Do this by right-clicking the collar table and ticking the box for Project Collars onto Topography. Either of these options can be reversed if necessary. Added topographic information can be removed and Projecting Collars is simply a tick box that can be toggled on or off.